Yo, what is going on, guys? Triple Force A Matt here. And today I decided I was gonna bring you guys a video. Oh, holy crap. No, I'm getting hit. No, stop. Stop hitting me. Die. Alright. Anyways, the reason I didn't bring out a video yesterday was because I wasn't feeling confident with my audio. Because, uh, I made a Call of Duty video thinking everything was gonna be okay. Um, because I could use like noise removal and stuff for like buzzing, but the buzzing still occurred. And yeah, it's, it's cool. I'm just gonna get a pop filter, which I'm still waiting on. Actually, not even waiting on, I haven't even bought it just yet. Anyways, today, going to have hopefully, let's see, let's see, it's in here. Yes, it is. A mod showcase of mutations for dying light now i know there are other there's another mutation that people talk about a lot with uh be the zombie mode but there's a mod on nexus for pc players only called mutations refocus mutation arctic force wave inferno lightning stasis toxic vampiric i'm just gonna read about it show you what it does and maybe that'll get you guys to install the mod so it says that the refocus mutilation or mutilation mutation is arctic and it's the easy mode one this mutation grants the ability to crystallize the water molecules in the air around you and in the bodies of nearby infected you must refocus this mutation when you exhaust your control of the ability you are immune to this ability's effects offhand equipment slot ability so that basically means that um when you go into your inventory, you have your UV flashlight and your grappling hook. And then you have to have maybe one or two empty spots. Maybe you have a shield right here, but this spot is empty. You can fill that with one of these mutations. And I'm going to do that with the Arctic one just to show you guys. First, the Arctic. And I'm also going to do the Force Wave one. Alright, well, I guess I have no more space in my inventory, so I can't do that. But... This is the Arctic. And then we'll just drop this one and pick up the force wave. Oh wait, nope, that's the UV flashlight. It's just what you think it does, it freezes all the zombies. Okay, so force wave, basically what it does. This mutation grants the ability to create strong, localized forces on nearby infected that cause their heads and limbs to separate themselves from their bodies okay so you guys get the graphicness of this force wave you must refocus this mutation when you exhaust the control of this ability you are immune to this ability's effects and again offhand equipment slot ability all right two shields just come flying off my head but um that's not what I wanted to do. Completely diminishes zombies. No flesh left on their bones. I do want to see if I can find like a demolisher or something. Ah, here he is. Here one goes. Ah, I can't use W. Oh, crap. That would suck if I died right there. And you can actually use these to throw rocks against other rocks that they throw. As you can see, we are powerful against the demolishers. Okay. Next modification is lightning, and it basically says this mutation grants the ability to generate an electric discharge that feeds directly into nearby infected. Ray is not. No, 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 this is bad. Let me go. This is horrible. Ugh. 
Oh, crap. Nope, they have weapons, and we don't have anything. I think this is the perfect time to use fire. Oh. Alright, he's on fire. Alright, that was fire, basically. And I'm gonna also show you guys what fire does to these guys. Because it worked yesterday, so it should work today. Ugh. Let's get on top of this roof here. I'm nowhere to be found. Fire has a lot of range, which is why I think it's useful. Should be getting down there. Ah, uh, yeah, it's killing off. Uh, I don't want to get shot. Come on. Fire, do something for me. And the fire's killing him. Yep, it's getting down there. You see the goodness of the fire, man? The fire just does work. No! I'm gonna skip the fact that I just died. We're gonna use lightning, alright? Lightning, now! Okay, there goes lightning. Lightning is self-explanatory. Just destroy zombies with lightning. Fire. They don't. Idiot! That's what you get for killing me. There you go. Your limb just split in half. And we can now successfully get this lockpick. Oh, wait. Another one? Another one? Oh, oh, oh. Trying to do something? Are you kidding me right now? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Oh god, I'm gonna die from the fire. And you're dying. You're dying, you're dying. It's 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 okay, man. Alright, so the next one that we're gonna do is stasis. Toxic. And vampiric. So stasis freezes the zombies. Although it doesn't freeze demolishers. It should freeze those guys right there, the toads. Okay. And uh, ow! Oh, they're gonna kill me, they're gonna kill me, they're gonna kill me. I need no. No. No, stop hitting me with your poison. I don't even know where you are. Ah, oh, there you are. Stasis again. Freezes him. Dead. Um. Poison. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we did stasis first. Now we move on to toxic. This one is toxic. throw anything at me and there you go it uh, makes all the air around them toxic so they cough and they die of poison it does take a while to kill them I'm pretty sure just by the looks of it I don't know if you can kill demolishers with poison. Uh. 
But there he goes. If you poison him enough, and then you take him out with a mighty pickaxe or an axe of some sort, you get another mighty pickaxe. Holy crap! I will take all of those axes, man. I love axes in this game. So it does take a while to kill with um, poison against boss zombies. Or toxic, I should say. It doesn't necessarily kill all of them. It just sort of makes them sick. But after making them sick enough, as you can tell, probably, you know, it's related sort of kind of in real life. If you make somebody sick and they're weak, then you can take them out a little bit easier. Now it is vampire rip, which literally sucks the blood from all the zombies around you. For the most part, it's an insta-kill. But they couldn't make this too powerful, so sometimes it's not an insta-kill, and the only thing that I know is an insta-kill is the rock. But you have to be so close to a zombie with a rock that it's like, sometimes not even worth it. One thing that I will say here is that you are not immune to the fire after it touches the ground. So if you think you're immune to the fire, you're not. Just don't run into it afterwards. Look at this. Toxic. And stasis. All frozen, all dead. And this does level up your power points. Mods don't stop you from leveling up your power points. Probably already knew that, but if you didn't, then you know now. Alright. So we have covered all our mutations. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Dying Light. Maybe you want to install this mod for yourself. If you did enjoy this mod showcase and you want me to do more, just let me know in the comment section below. My teacher always told me to wait until somebody was done talking. But uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new for more content. Uh, check out some other, other videos in the Dying Light playlist if you're in the Dying Light still. And um, you know, if you don't comment down below or something, it doesn't really matter to me, but they are appreciated and accepted. All of them, I don't really care. And uh, until the next one, Forte Matt, Triple Forte Matt is out. So, Pete. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this episode of the Macho Case. If you want me to do more, leave it in the comments down below. Check out this Parkour Viper video if you're interested in that type of thing. I know there are a lot of more maps like this. So if you want me to do more of the parkour fever maps, let me know in the comments down below as well. Until the next one, Triple Forte Matt is out. Peace.